hard to find higher. Again, tax, whether it be service tax, body shop technicians, believe it or not, legit experienced automobile salespeople, executive management, and so forth. Job postings are not gonna be the key to this, although you have to have them. But what you really need to do is what's called data mining, reverse search. It's kind of like getting into your CRM and find people that are nearing the end of their lease and so forth. We have to search what's called passive job seekers. And what we want to use is something that's called the Boolean search principle. And it's very simple. Well, let me give you an example. If, if Let's say we're data mining for technicians. We're going to go into LinkedIn or Indeed or ZipRecruiter. We're going to go in their database and we're going to search. If you search, as an example, automotive technician, you would think, well, that's pretty specific. That's what you're gonna find. Here's what you're gonna find. You're gonna find resumes that have the word automotive and technician in it. You can end up with a bunch of HVAC technicians, uh, you know, air, air conditioning guys from shops. It's just, it's a mess. You're not gonna get who you're looking for. So the Boolean search principle is this, that the word and forms a bridge between automotive and technician. So what that means is it'll tie those two words together in your search based off your potential hire's uh, resume. So you're more likely to pick up with automotive and technician in your search. The best way to do it this, the very best way for your search is to use quotes, parentheses, quote, end quote, automotive technician. That way, that will bring to you, like that, more automotive techs, body shop techs, painters, estimators, uh, experienced automobile salespeople, and so forth using those quotations in your search criteria when you're doing data mining. See you on the next video.